you kind of touched on this a, a bit, Alana, so I want to go around the table on this. If the sex is trash, is it a rap? You looking at me? Yes. I'm looking at you, yeah. Yes. It's just never going to work. So if the sex is bad, it's it's a, you're not going to, are you going to give him a, a couple chances? Yeah, we could do a few trial runs, like, you know, if there's still personality connection there, but... You can't figure it out after a few times. We're probably not meant to bump parts, if you know what I mean. Okay. So. Um, I mean, yeah, like a couple tries, and if it's still not like crazy awesome. Uh, so if the sex is trash, is it a wrap? Um, I mean, like first time, it's like common, it's fine, but if it's like a reoccurring thing, then I don't think the person's right for me personally yeah i agree with that because i feel like both people could be shy and like i don't know just doesn't work out the same so you could try again okay yeah chemistry is really important so i think for the first couple of times maybe you can tell like you're still trying to get to know each other but then after if that's like a continuous pattern then probably not the best fit I feel like if you are like ha like if you're sleeping with somebody like the first time after it depends on how long you've been talking to them. If you haven't been talking that much and you guys have sex, yeah, the first time might not be good, but give it another try. But if you've been talking to them for a bit and you guys have both been waiting, then and if it's bad, then I don't think it's meant to be because I think there should be that chemistry that you guys both have been building up. Um I think it like depends like how they're going into it. If they're like, oh yeah, like I'm gonna lay hella good pipe. And it's not, <laughs> you're gonna be like, oh, for real? Like, <laughs> boom, done. Um, but if like, I don't know if like you like them and it's just like, you guys are like nervous the first time, like maybe, I don't know. I think like if they're like really like legit the first time, it's definitely gonna be like, you're gonna like go back and be like, yeah, they were it. Like that was dope. <laughs> but um, I don't know, like I don't, it's not like a deal breaker, not really. Esther? Oh. Give it a couple of tries, but I think just communicate. A lot of the time, different people like different things. Um, our, just, our bodies are different, so let your partner know. And if you let them know, and they're still not up to your standards, then, then you can let go. Uh, for me, it's, mm, I'll, if I don't feel good first time, I'm just gonna, maybe we, we should talk. And then, if it's not works, it depends on h like how much I like him, maybe also. But um, you're in love with him. <laughs> <laughs> you're. I mean, you said before that you want to be in love to have sex. So oh, I mean, like, yeah. uh, allegedly, allegedly. I know if because of the sex, I'm losing like my emotional for him sometimes. Maybe then that's not my guy. Wait, I have a question. Okay, so this is related to Japan. Have you ever been to a host club? Do you know uh, what that is? No, I know. I know. You know what, what it is? Yeah. Okay. I don't think anyone else at the table probably knows about that. But is anyone else Japanese? I've no. Been okay. To Japan. Okay. <laughs> so, you've never been to a host club? No. But you've heard you've heard of them. Yeah, right? yeah. It's okay. really like. Yeah, just to explain it to the panel and the viewers. Uh, host club is something very unique to Japan. Basically, it's a club where women women go to get male attention. So there's hired men who I guess are kind of attractive and good conversationalists, and women will pay to conversate with men at these host clubs. And the, the men are called hosts. So they have a both side though. There there is both sides. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting, like how. I'm curious why that is something in, it might be in maybe in other Asian countries, but I think it's really just in Japan where they have that. Oh, uh, in Thailand, they have kind of those things too. Okay. Yeah. But it's interesting, like that would never, you don't see that in Western countries mm. or I mean, most other countries, you don't see that. So, but from what I heard is, is that a lot of the women that go to the host clubs, they're actually sex workers themselves and they're looking for like an emotional connection with the anyways whatever kind of getting derailed there a little bit so 
So, wow, you, some of y'all are kind of brutal there. Sex is bad. It's a done deal, right? Well, let me ask you this. So, would you want a guy, like, if the sex is bad, like, what are you going to do to make it better? Are you going to teach him? Because I feel like that would be a big turnoff for a lot of girls to have to show a guy how to fuck you or how to make you come. You'd be like, because a lot of women want guys to just get it. They want guys pre-assembled. So, your take. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to teach someone anything. That's just not, no, I don't picture myself doing that. That's why I'll give you a few tries to, like, pick up on the fact that this is not vibing with me. And then after that, I'm sure somebody else will love what they got going on. But I don't. I mean, depends on the person. If you're, like, really emotionally connected, I think it's a team effort. Like, you just got to help each other out. Sure. But, yeah. Okay. Yeah, if I liked him, then I'd tell him what I like, and he might like different things. I don't know. You never know. And I feel like also a lot of girls lie about coming. So, like, <laughs> guys don't know what girls actually like because all these girls are lying to them. You know? And I've lied, too. So, like... You, f you faked an orgasm. Yes. Yeah, that's pretty much one of the worst things. Well, not <laughs> one of the worst things you can do, but it's pretty bad. Well, like, sometimes you just want it over, and you're just like... Oh, okay. Go away. <laughs> sure, okay. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's, I think it's about the emotional connection you have with that person. If there's a lot, then you guys, like, work through it. But if there's not, then it's probably just not, you know, like, no good. That just means there's no good chemistry, and it's probably not worth each other's time. Yeah. Wait, so I want to come back to you really quick. So you fake the orgasm and then go away. Yeah. Okay, so you want it to end. Like, if it's bad and I'm, like, not enjoying uh, it and, like, I just want it over, like... Okay, and so basically what I guess my understanding is once the guy's made you come, then he's going to be like, okay, now I can come. Is that kind of... No, what? usually it's like they do first. They come first? And then they're like trying to make... You, I mean, in my... Are you talking like going down on you or using hands or whatever? Just whatever. I don't know. Like, oh. And then they'll try to like make it... I don't know. It's just like sometimes it's not working and I just fake it because I'm just like it's you're not doing it right and i don't like i'm not emotionally attached to them so i like don't really care to tell them sure has anyone here not had an orgasm with a partner i haven't probably oh, because wow. i lie <laughs> but like also yeah wait and what was your longest relationship it was like six months i think but it was like really off and on it mm -hmm. was bad he cheated on me like two days after he asked me out can can we get some uh, candle vigils in the chat for Alana, <laughs> and or some skulls in the chat? Rest in peace. Okay, that is unfortunate. Um, good yeah. times. So, um, <laughs> anyone else never been able to climax with a partner? Anybody? Only a few times, to be honest. I just fake it. <laughs> Okay, good times. Uh, and <laughs> so just to go back around, I, I'm trying to remember what we were. What were your, I don't know where we were. Can anyone remind me? I was you going said around. something about working through it if, like, the sex isn't good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're talking about. I had answered, so I think it's. Yeah. We all answered. That. And we can, we can move. If it was about, like, teaching them how to. Yeah. Like, oh, teaching them. Yeah, yeah, like if you'd want to teach a guy how to fuck you. Um <laughs> so poor guy, I think like uh, if he likes different things and if I'm doing something that, you know, isn't working for him, you tell me and then I could tell him what he, like what he can do for me and we just come to it together. But if the next time it's really not improving or anything, because with the chemistry, it should be like, I feel like it should be good. And it's just like sex. I don't know how you could be bad at sex i'm gonna be 